The Instagram algorithm has completely changed for February 2024, and if you're still using the tactics that worked in January, you're probably seeing a decrease in the amount of views you're getting right now, and that's because the effects you need to use have changed, the sounds you need to use have changed, the length of the content you need to use has changed, and two other things I'm gonna share with you towards the end of this video that could potentially skyrocket your reach if you make these changes. In fact, this creator right here literally made these changes and gained over 600,000 followers in a really short period of time. A very crowded niche, and the same thing could happen to you if you make them. Change number one is you need to make sure that you begin stacking trending sounds and trending effects because here's the deal. Trending sounds alone do a great job of increasing the reach that you get. Trending effects also do a great job of increasing the reach that you get, but if you stack those two things together, you're gonna get double the results and you're gonna get way more reach. And what I need you to do right now is you need to find trending videos within your niche and you need to go to the bottom of the post where it's gonna show you what effect they're using and what sound they're using and you need to be able to identify which sounds and which effects are actually working the best in your niche because if you're not taking advantage of this, your competitors are and that's why they're going to beat you and get more reach in you. The easiest way for you to be able to do this, again, is to just look at your competitors, scroll on the Reels feed, be able to find trending posts that are in your niche or a trend that you want to participate in, see what effects they're using and then apply these changes to your content. When it comes to effects, it's probably something as simple as adding 4K or adding a tint to the video. You don't have to add a crazy effect that's going to completely change the video because then it's not going to look like what works on Instagram adding one of these simple effects could be the difference between you getting more views or not getting more views. On top of that, you need to make sure that you're not making the three mistakes that the Instagram algorithm really hates right now. The first one is that you need to make sure that you are not creating content that doesn't have a voiceover or content that is clearly a trend. If you're doing a post that's a trend, then you're probably using a trending sound and you don't need the voiceover added in. But otherwise, I would strongly suggest that you add a voiceover into your content. And the reason for this is Instagram is beginning to prioritize posts that keep people on the platform for a longer period of time. And the easiest way for you to do this is to add a voiceover because without a voiceover, there's not much going on within the post and it's not very interactive for the person watching it. But the second that you add a voiceover, which is kind of new to Instagram posts, well, guess what ends up happening? It skyrockets the amount of reach that you get and you also need to make sure that you're changing the scenes in your video every two to three seconds. If you're not doing this, you're missing a massive opportunity to reset the viewer's brain and reset their attention and then guess what ends up happening? They end up watching the video for a longer period of time. The Instagram algorithm loves that and they push your post out more. You need to try this in your next post. And the next thing you need to make sure that you are not doing is posting when your followers are online or removing ghost followers that you have. I see so many people doing this now. They go through and remove ghost followers and it completely kills their account. You need to take this as a warning. You shouldn't be doing this because if you do it, Instagram isn't going to push out your content because they're going to think that people don't like your content simply because you thought you were removing ghost followers. You need to just keep them on there and keep trying to outgrow them and that is how you're gonna increase your organic reach. And the same goes if you've bought followers before in the past. If you've bought followers before in the past or you use some type of fake engagement service that told you it was real engagement, well, guess what? You need to stop doing those things because you should only be getting organic reach on Instagram right now. And if you're not, it's going to destroy the views you're getting. And the final thing you need to make sure that you're not doing is saying link in bio within your post because if you do this, it's going to decrease your reach by 50 to 60%. And I know what you're thinking right now. Well, Rob, how on earth should I get people to go to the link in my bio then? And there's actually a better way to do that. And that's exactly why we need to thank today's video sponsor, ManyChat, which makes this possible. And on average, creators that use ManyChat see a 5x increase in the amount of engagement that they're getting. And lucky for you, if you go to the pinned comment below right now, you could register for 30 days free access to ManyChat and be able to take advantage of the three core features that they have that are gonna help you make more money and get more engagement in your posts. Because ManyChat's gonna help you make more money through comment to DM automation. The way that this is gonna work, and you've probably seen a ton of different creators do this, is you need to get people to comment below a specific keyword on your post, which skyrockets the amount of engagement that you get, which the Instagram algorithm loves, and then they push your content out more. But on top of that, what ManyChat's gonna be doing in the background is that comment to DM automation. So now, when somebody comments the keyword, ManyChat's gonna automatically DM them from your account the link that you wanted them to go to. So this is not only going to increase the money that you make as more people are going to your link, but it's also going to increase the amount of engagement that you get, the amount of views that you get, and that's gonna help you grow quicker. 
Now on average, creators that use ManyChat see a 5X increase in the amount of engagement that they're getting. And that's not the only thing ManyChat does. It also allows you to actually prompt the people that come to your DMs with different things that you can click on to start the conversations, which increases the amount of people that actually end up DMing you. On top of that, ManyChat makes it incredibly easy for you to be able to start the conversation with your audience because now they're gonna be prompted with a bunch of different questions when they come to your profile, and this increases the odds that you can start a conversation with them. But that's not even the best part about ManyChat. The best part is that it's it's a meta approved partner. So you don't have to worry about any of the engagement that you're getting or the followers that you're getting being fake because it's all approved by Instagram. What are you waiting for? If you want a 5X the amount of engagement you're getting on Instagram right now or increase the amount of money that you're making from Instagram, go to that pinned comment below and sign up for a 30 day free trial with ManyChat so you could see how effective it is. Now, there are two other massive changes that just came about with this latest Instagram algorithm update that you need to be aware of, and the last one is by far the most important. The first is you need to understand that there are three key metrics that you need to be hitting right now if you want Instagram to push out your posts. If you're not hitting these three things, Instagram simply isn't going to push out your content. First one is you need to make sure that the topic that you're talking about is something that is trending. There are two ways for you to be able to figure this out. One, you need to find somebody else in your niche that posted about the same topic and got more views than they have followers. Ideally, it should be somebody smaller because what this is going to prove to you is that Instagram showed that content to a bunch of non-followers. And then essentially what happens is Instagram is willing to show another piece of content like that to those people. So if you create a piece of content like that, guess what ends up happening? And no, I'm not telling you to copy them. I'm simply telling you to create the same type of video on the same topic. And then Instagram is going to push that content to them also. The other way that you can figure this out is you can go through and comment on people within your niche, save their posts within your niche, and then Instagram is going going to change the type of content that they're showing you. Now, when you go to the explore feed, you're going to see things that your ideal audience would be seeing, or the same thing on the reels feed, or when you scroll your regular feed on Instagram, and this is going to reveal to you everything that's actually trending within your niche so that you know exactly what topics to use. But that's only the first of the three things you need to make sure that you're doing. The second is you need to make sure that you're hitting a 50 to 75% share to like ratio. So if you have 100 likes on your post, you need to be getting 50 to 75 shares. Every share that you get on Instagram, is currently worth around 400 views. So if you're able to do that, it's going to skyrocket the reach that you get and your post is going to end up going viral way quicker than the Instagram algorithm pushing it out because you're going to have real people pushing it out and helping you get up to 400 views per share. And this brings me to the third thing that you need to make sure that you're focused on, which is the amount of replays that you're getting. And there are two ways to get a lot of replays. The first one is to make a really short post with a bunch of text on the screen or a long description so people are paying attention to what's going on over there and not what's actually going on within your post. Or what could you do is try to loop your content. The way that you loop your content is you're gonna film a regular video, you're gonna take the first one to three seconds and then put it at the end of the video. And then what it's gonna do is it's gonna make the content loop and the viewer's not gonna realize that they're watching the same video again for a few seconds, which skyrockets the amount of replays that you get. And this helps Instagram push your content out more because what you're probably doing right now is not hooking the viewer at the end of your piece of content to getting to watch it again. And that's exactly why you're not getting the replays you need. Or you could just totally be using the wrong length the post that you're creating right now. And the way that you can figure out the best length for you to be using is you need to look at other videos that your audience is interacting with. You can look at your own videos or you can look at competitors' videos that are doing well. And I want you to go through them, at least 10 to 12 of them, and see how long they actually are. If you're able to look at the length for 10 to 12 of them, write that down, it's gonna be really easy for you to be able to see whatever patterns are happening within those lengths. And I bet that the majority of posts that are doing well are all around the same length or at one or two different lengths. And then obviously that's how long you should actually be creating content. Because if you're not doing that, you're putting yourself at a disadvantage right now with the Instagram algorithm, because they're not going to be able to determine what length your videos are, plus the audience that you're trying to reach and then be able to show that content to that ideal audience. Which brings me to the most important part of this algorithm, which is really, really important for small accounts or for people that are trying to revive an older account. And that is that you need to make sure that Instagram has a very clear picture for who they should be pushing content to. And there are three ways to do this. The first one is going to be through your bio. Your bio should clearly be able to identify to Instagram exactly who you're trying to reach, who you're trying to show your content to. The more specific that you make this, the less results that you're going to get. You want it to be a little bit broad, which is broad keywords from your niche. The second thing, you need 
need to be paying very close attention to the descriptions that you write, the text that you have on the screen, and what you say in your voiceover, because those three things are gonna really matter to Instagram. They're going to look at those things to try to determine who to push your content to. If you can put keywords within those three things, it's going to increase the odds that you rank for search, and it's going to increase the odds that Instagram is able to quickly find an audience for your piece of content. And this brings me to the last and most important thing that you could do with this current Instagram algorithm, and that is that you're using the right hashtags, or more importantly, not using banned hashtags. And that's exactly why I created this video right here that tells you the best hashtags to use in 2024, and I strongly suggest you check it out.